Hello lovelies! Today I'm going to be sharing with you my fountain pen and full bottle ink collection. This has been highly requested in my DMs, so I figured it would be fun to show you what I've collected in a very short time. I recently got into fountain pens earlier in this year and so far these are the pens that made me fall in love with fountain pens and these are the little ink samples that made it to full size bottle status. So this video is going to be a bit longer than what I usually do but I'll be adding timestamps down below. I'm going to be starting with the fountain pens. I won't be comparing or reviewing them in depth so if you would like to see a video on that please comment down below. I would love to make that for you. So putting these inks aside, I'm going to be going over my fountain pens in the order I purchased them. So I'm not sure if this glass nib counts, but I do use it for swatching, so I guess it kind of does, right? <laughs> okay, so the first pen I purchased was the Traveler's Company Limited Edition Factory Green. This is the pen that made me fall in love with fountain pens. The second pen I purchased was the Traveler's Company Brass. After seeing how the grip in the Factory Green one started to patina, I was curious to see how the entire pen would look afterwards. And since I love everything that Traveler's Company does and how beautifully they make all their products so I figured it was a no-brainer. The second fountain pen style I purchased was the Caveco Sport. My first pen for that collection was the Caveco Collection Iridescent Sport and I was blown away by this pen. I thought that this was the smoothest pen ever and I really loved how compact it was. Now from there, I jumped head first to gold nibs. And my first gold nib is the Yoseka Refresh Pen, which they made in collaboration with Sailor. And oh boy, this one is in a broad so this was the nicest experience i ever had with a fountain pen it was so smooth and you really can't go wrong with sailor the second gold nib was the platinum century 3776 shape of the heart and this one is a special edition as well and this one is in a medium nib and oh man i love this pen i think this one is my favorite gold nib so far or my favorite pen in general and this last gold nib is the platinum century in a fine in the celluloid stone colorway and this one just feels so nice and it feels solid in the hand and it's warmer too i don't know how to if i'm explaining this correctly but it feels warmer my next gold nib is still traveling through usps so you will see that one in a future video after the gold nibs i received this platinum little shooting stars from stationary pal and this last pen is my most recent purchase which is a twisby extra fine in jade and i really wish i purchased this pen sooner i really enjoy it as i am cleaning up these pens and getting ready to swatch just wanted to say at the time of this recording I can't believe how close we are to 1,000 of you I am just so grateful and I have been so excited shopping for the giveaways that will be coming very soon so if you haven't already subscribe down below and hit that notification button so that you can be notified of this future giveaway Okay, on to the ink sampling. I guess I'll go in sort of the order of purchase. 
So these are the four Sailor Manyo inks that I have in my collection. My very first ink bottle ever was the Neko Yanagi color and I just fell in love with the dual chrome shading. I really, really love that property in a fountain pen ink. So when I saw it, I immediately bought it and the others that followed with it. I don't know if you remember, but I love how they all look like popsicle juice. <laughs> I used to love when my popsicles would melt and I would have that juice at the end. It was my favorite. Anyways, I'm going to be using my prayers insert that I am currently setting up. I haven't finished yet, so there's really nothing to show. Again, this is the only Tomoe River paper that I have right now. I really need to step up my game and stock up on these. <laughs> the first things I'm going to swatch are all the sailor inks since that is the one that I have the most of and I'm going to speed through this process a little bit. I don't want this video to be longer than it has to be. I have this Infants Acetaminophen as my dropper, which I really should invest in one because I keep making these ink splattered mistakes. <laughs> so this first one is that Neko Yanagi, which is sort of a, I don't know, it's classified as a blue ink, but to me it's more of a lavender color with some pink and blue chroma shading. Now, since that didn't work, I'm going to be using the cap of my glass dip pen, which honestly, I wish I did sooner. It is perfect for swatching. So, so far this pen gets a 10 out of 5 rating for me. I really love this thing. I, I did create a video demoing the calligraphy nibs that came with this pen, which I'll post in a future date if you're interested. This second one is also another favorite. Actually, they're all my favorite, okay? <laughs> but this one is Sailor Manyo Haha, and it is a lighter blue that has a lot of pink and purple chroma shading. And please excuse my doodles. My doodle game was very weak in this video. The next color is Nade Shiko. And this one is more of a blue with some purple chroma shading. The last color I have in the Manyo series is Yamabuki, which is a pretty orange color, which has almost a yellow shading to it. It's really nice. I'm going to continue with the only Sailor Ink Studio full bottle I have, which is 162 and oh my goodness this one is my absolute favorite i use this one all the time it's kind of similar to haha -ha, but it's a bit darker and i feel like it has more depth to it like it will have a nice blush pink and some purple and green and blue so this one has a ton of colors in it the next little set i have is the sailor Yurameko inks and the next one is Itazora. I know I'm not going to pronounce it correctly and they're all kind of in a gray tone and this one is their blue gray. Following that is Seki and this one is a gray with purple and the next one of course I mess up and I drop some ink on the other side and that's really gonna bug me. And the next one is Ama Moyoi. And this one is kind of, this one's really pretty. This one is brown, green, and purple. It's really nice. It's my second favorite ink. The last two of my Sailor ink collection is from the Shikiori line. And the first one is Waka Ugusu, which is such a beautiful ink. I'm really looking for an olivey green for the fall so if you have any suggestions let me know down below the last color is yo sakura it's a beautiful purpley ink color 
Now I'm doing the most dangerous thing, which is trying to get this paper off to redo it again because it really bothers me that I dropped ink. So the reason why this is dangerous is because this is exactly how I broke my last camel. And this is my new camel, so I'm doing this so carefully that I didn't even cut the paper. Instead, I ripped it out, which is whatever, it's fine. i rather rip off the page than murder another TN. These last four colors I'm going to be swatching are more of my everyday inks. For me, the sailors are the fun inks, and these are the more serious inks. The first two are from Pilot Iro Shizuku, and for these, you can definitely feel the lubrication added to these inks. And this one is Takesumi, which is a classic black. I find that it's a softer black, and for me, it dries very quickly. The next color I have is Inaho, and this one is like, I don't know, it's like a, I think it's corn wheat or something like that, but this one is such a pretty fall color. It really goes with anything, and it's an elegant pop of color. The other inks I have are some warmer inks, and the first one is this Ferris wheel press ink and I just I am obsessed with this packaging this is the most beautiful ink bottle out of all of them and this one is called autumn in Auburn and this is just perfect for this season right now I have been obsessed with this ink since I purchased it it is the perfect like pumpkin spicy color and it shades really nicely too the next colors are Monte Verde inks and I said that's so weird, but um, I have the Scotch Brown, which is, I feel like it's a true chocolate brown. The next one is this cool toned brown in Moonstone. And this one kind of goes with anything as well. Both of these inks feel similar to the Pilot Iro Shizuku in the sense of lubrication. I'm going to let these inks dry and I will come back with a close-up. None of these really have any sheening. They all shade though, with the exception of Takesume. That one doesn't shade as much, which is expected. Um, this one has, I don't know, it looks a little glossy, but it could just be the lubrication. I find the ones that have that additive are shinier. As you can see, the Manos have several colors in them, and they're all dry. Um, I think that shine is from the lubrication, I'm not sure. But you can see how Manyo Haha and Neko Yanagi have a lot of different colors in it, and I really like the Moonstone one, how it goes from a brown to an almost black. Let me know down below which ink is your favorite. I think for me it has to be the Sailor Ink Studio 162 or the Ama Moyoi. Those are just too fun to play with. I think those are the, the best chroma shading ones. For the neutrals, it has to be either Inaho, Ferris Wheel Press, or Moonstone. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I have ordered a ton of ink samples for the fall, which will come in in the near future. Stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.